One of the bright points in the Nixon's administration anti-crime program is the city of Washington, D.C. of heroin addiction there is higher than most people had dreamed. A true epidemic. They are impressionable. Their value system, their sense of right and wrong is developing. And these drug-infested streets are their learning ground. From his window, this boy watches a world that could be described as not suitable for children's viewing. Police and a rescue squad try to revive an overdose victim. Other children gather around, but in their eyes, there is neither shock nor sadness. Customs agents made an important drug bust this afternoon at Dulles Airport near Washington. They searched a passenger for illegal foodstuffs and found instead a pound and a half of heroin with a street value of $1 million. Yes, sir, man. We back right quick, but we going to get ready to go down a wormhole with a district's heroin connection with exclusive footage, exclusive photos, never before shared stories on YouTube in depth. Y'all definitely want to tune into the next two videos, man. I cannot move forward with the channel until I get both of these videos out. It's two parts. The playlist is called the district's heroin connection. And up next, we got Carl the Terrible Turk Kelly story. And that's going to be a wild one, man. That's next up a full in-depth video of one of the most flashiest, flamboyant, smack peddling hustlers of the district in his prime. I'm talking Mercedes, Frank Lucas style furs, trips to Vegas, rings on every finger. Carl the Terrible Turk Kelly. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lengthy video, so make sure y'all got time to watch it, man. That's next Tuesday. And I'm sorry, that's going to take a little time, man. That's why I say next Tuesday, I'm digging in the crates for good reason, though, to bring some of these exclusive joints, man. But it's going to be worth it. We're going to paint the picture. Oh, and I ain't say what the second video was. Well, we can't title a segment, The District's Heroin Connection, without mentioning a man that had the biggest heroin case in the district, Linwood Big Boy Gray. And there's so many people like Isaac T and more that was out there handling that package that if I wanted to, we could make it like an eight-part playlist, but we just going to focus on a few, man. Keep it simple. Now, I got work to do, so I'm going to get off here, but just for some quick bonus content, let's jump into another individual who we will mention on the Carl Kelly video, Vernon Cooper. Another street legend and associate of Carl who allegedly ran a heroin operation that the prosecutors estimated took in 300000 a month. With a connection from New York, Vernon supposedly distributed to middlemen around town, even in Baltimore, while rinsing the money using two video arcades that he owned in Silver Spring and Upper Marlboro. He was 50 years old when they arrested him in the early 80s. Anyway, man, they also alleged that Vernon tried to put out a contract on an IRS agent who was investigating him. And when the IRS learned of the contract, some agents confronted Vernon to basically scare him into canceling the contract on some, we know about your contract and you will go down for murder, man, if you don't stop this. It was tax evasion that did Vernon Cooper in. He was found guilty on that and acquitted of kingpin charges. And they got him and found him guilty by the time he was 52 years old. Now remember this name, Kenneth Robinson, because it's going to come back up on episode three. And that's the Linwood Big Boy Gray story. But y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Next Tuesday, I will be dropping that video. Like I said, make sure you got some time to tap into it.